Okay, so in this mini series, we want to look at the candidate choices that we make, or we're told these are the candidate maneuvers that we need to make to create a solid game for ourselves. So within the answer process, we've outlined the attacking the king area, attacking the key spaces, the key pieces, etc. But if that king can be defended by a piece or it moves to a safe place and then your position on the board is weaker, are you then going to pursue that check on the king? So that's a key thing that we've got to bear in mind. When we're attacking the king area, yes, we may look good putting our pieces there, attacking the king area, but are we weakening the position? Can we continue those threats on the king to then get a checkmate or to, for the opponent to capitulate and resign? Just to attack the knight here. I think we can just take this off the board. I feel like grabbing the pawn, but it seems like it causes too much heartache. The poison pawn. Let's just um, castle first. Just a simple pawn protection. Keep it simple and the annoying bishop pinning through to the queen it's not defended the pawn so we can grab now it's attacking <laughs> yeah let's just bring it back here the bishop doesn't really have any protection you have to be very careful knight can move but oh it's opening up space around the king area it's interesting could take pawn takes but it's not good enough at this moment let's just bring the bishop back it's tucking the knight down so our knight our bishop does have protection knight could come and attack the bishop and just open up the um rook Although, I think evaluation at say take with this pawn. So now he's doing the annoying pin thing that we mentioned before. So we could move the king or just develop the knight. Any other spaces? Look at all these spaces got around this king here. Queen can't get to here yet because of this knight. Let's go here, we can potentially come here, attack the bishop, see what's happening with the bishop. It's attacking our knight, I uh, didn't really see that. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, just come here attacking this pawn. Also got inroads into around here, obviously this pawn will take, so could come here, but then his bishop's defending, so we can't do that. So we could bring it all the way back again so it now is in defense mode ish so we could continue with the attacking of the bishop here but then is that really going to be any good to us let's move the king uh, i'm actually pushing the pawn here now so we freed up this pawn let's get attacking this scrappy area here there's nothing behind this pawn so we could actually attack open up the space in front of the king let's do that seems more advantageous for us to open so if we went here this pawn takes or not does take so we've got the knight which can attack his knight if his knight takes then we're up hitting the king this knight doesn't take doesn't want us hitting the king so we could move our knight back attacking his knight it's attacking our bishop just got to be mindful of that 
bishop could come here but it'll get taken so bishop could come back attacking his bishop he is attacking this pawn here the rook is defending so maybe we come here don't really want to block this i was looking for the rook maybe to come here on the passageway let's go here for now a lot of combination stuff there blocking stuff and it would have been getting quite a bit of material bottom wise nice position here for the knight for a check get the um could have done that actually oh could have done that the queen would have taken the knight off the board he's now realizing it oh man and i thought i was taking my time then looking at i could still do it i could still do it check and then we win the knight nice one bishops protecting this pawn here and the rookies so that seems pretty straightforward uh, before we jump in I'm not going to rush it now yeah so take or is there a check with the bishop there's no check with the bishop let's take just going to try and squeeze his king in here to get it to the other side of the board moving it around 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 or something like that so this is where I've got to look for the appropriate checks on the king or position of my pieces to block off his traversing across the board blocking one or even attacking push this one attacking his bishop his queen's not playing ball but we could push here so it's got four combo for these pieces does take can take we're trying to block off this king escaping let's go here queen takes bishop takes rook takes bishop takes he's trying to get rid of our queen i think so he's probably going to come across here but if he does that then we get the queen kind of for free because the pawn can't take back so he takes with the queen he's on our queen got to be mindful of that there's no way of getting to his oh sorry <laughs> bishop and uh, capture here so blocked off this traffic traversing now for the uh, king so that's the sort of thing we're talking about where putting checks on the king if it is it beneficial or not it wouldn't have been appropriate for the queen to be you know chasing the king that he'd get to safety across the other side of the board and now we have the check here which would probably be put a checkmate i think yep excellent so i think that was an ideal example of the the series that we're trying to work on here in terms of putting appropriate checks on the king um in this case it's like looking at blocking off the king before they can actually maneuver and get to safety so there's appropriate checks first and there's nugatory checks first okay let's open this center let's block it down let's attack the king let's take this bishop off and castle okay so that's like the beginning of our end game opening where we're going from here annoying bishop pinning through and last but not least let's develop the knight attacking this center pawn let's capture him where do we want to be and he's attacking our knights let's go here knights coming to here uh, not just yet let's go there and let's capture as, as we planned this knight's doing some funky, funky moves could go here but then the rook is going to attack us but it's an isolated pawn so let's just grab nice looking for a home here so if we attack it it's going to jump there 
Rook will be coming. Yep, so let's attack. Knight comes here. Where do we want to be? King is home alone. And he's gone the other way. Okay, so he's putting us in that position. Don't have to take. Could develop a oops. We need to be careful with this. Could bring a rook through. Attacking the rook. Let's attack the rook. Queen's defending the knight. Doesn't seem to be a big problem. He wants to get his king queen in front of our king. Let's go here. Targeting here is Queen's defending at the moment. Captured, captured, it's all been simplified. So in essence it could be a draw. So he's come down for our pawn here. Our queen can take the pawn here, but then he's got sights of bringing his rook here. But if he does, then we get the back rank check bait. So we could bring up, but then his rook could come down if he forgets himself. If his rook forgets himself, then the queen can take. taking too long he's not going to forget himself no problem he's giving his king a flight square he knows that potentially it could be coming here so I'm going to just give our king a little bit of a flight square try to put a bit of pressure on the pawns here he does have a nice position you see so we're going to have to sort of keep stock of this he's blocked off our queen attacking the pawn but do we really want to be over there anyway do we want to be here do we have anything else backing us up? Let's just attack this pawn. See what happens from there. He's actually, before we do that, he's actually attacking our pawn here. So if we did push, he doesn't have to do anything. He could take, and then we could take, and then he just replicates anyway. So we're giving him a pawn for free in a sense. But if we bring our queen here, we're sort of hiding our queen out of the equation because he's just going to come down put a check on it's winning a tempo in a sense our queen potentially isn't going to get to the back and even if i did it's just going to be a draw uh, let's do that probably come hunting our rook somehow rook down king up Queen's not getting to us at oh uh, hold on right so what's happened so his rook is still holding the file our rook can put a check on his king his rook has to come back and then that's checkmate that's appropriate yep and they've resigned excellent uh, just in case we're unsure So just go to the evaluation. Well, the queen could have gone back or the rook could have gone back. Um, you know, obviously bringing the queen back is going to be a bit, bit damaging because we've got a queen against a rook then, you know. Uh, yeah, so nice game. Good demonstration of appropriate checking on the king. Nice placement of the queen blocking off the access for the rook it all depended on what the opponent did though so this is why we were nice and cagey with our potential movements it all depended because it's a slight advantage with our queen move here but like the, like it's showing the queen could have come back and the rook could have attacked could, they could have done anything so it, it wasn't sitting so stone but it was sitting stone when they did their particular maneuver of the pawn move down interesting game okay so we're continuing the series and it's really about looking at the position that you're in first are you in sure footing before you actually put a check on the king to then think that you're then going to continue your attacks on the king if not don't do it and just build up the attacks around the area that you've created and from that point on then you can start developing your pieces towards putting more pressure on the king so it's just a slight change 
in the mindset in terms of putting checks on the king and see what we've got here well, we can defend but does he have anything else that's going to attack the knight at the moment doesn't have the pawn so we can push the pawn here onto the knight knight's got these devilish squares here so he's going to probably try and get this dark square bishop out somehow or is he looking to do a whirlwind here you know you don't know it's nice attacking this pawn it's got nothing behind we can bring our queen here to defend or we can develop a knight I'm going to develop the knight just to support the pawn but he's got a two on one on this pawn so that might have been a bit of an error but either way even if we brought the queen here his knight could still take him. he's not actually doing that he's wanting to get the bishop here like we said attacking the knight so we could castle or we can bring the queen here because the opponent seems to have missed the two on one here so we may as well try and defend that for a bit he's brought the bishop attacking this side so we can bring the pawn here but then he does have the two on one so we have to take this pawn i believe because it's causing us all the questions so now we're not, we no longer have to deal with the two on one situation so he can freely take and we can take back here so he's moved the knight so our knight can go anywhere and i wish it had a position where it could attack the queen so it can attack the bishop so we may as well do that because we've got the check on the king So, ooh, I thought he was going to do something else then. Um, so the knight is blocking. So if we take the bishop, I thought he was going to move the king and then get the rook coming here facing our queen. And he's, he's in the process of doing that. So we could do this, but then his rook comes across and he wins our queen. Or we can just take and his rook still comes across then we can put a pawn here maybe to protect yeah so he's come so bring the pawn here a smaller piece so if the rook takes then we take with the pawn he's looking to tro probably try and get this bishop involved in attacking the knight as well so yeah he's bringing it the other way so is he attacking anything can we castle let's castle so it's attacking our queen queen pawn can push here onto the bishop if the bishop takes the queen takes uh, is the rook going to take the knight i don't think so so we'll go here if the well the bishop's not going to take got a nice diagonal here with the queen if he's going to be staying there if he comes back knight takes does go okay so we'll grab here just going to push this pawn up potentially getting a little bit of a check here now this is the situation whereby checks first i believe this is a good check we could take the pawn here but just for now bringing the queen to this position defending the pawn here at the moment so he's moved the queen now now we can bring the bishop here because we can't go rushing to take the pawn because he's going to take so i think we go here so our queen couldn't take this pawn because the rook would be taking the pawn here so that was a good use of ch checks first in that instance to win a tempo to get a position on the board to improve the position sure footing is better so constantly all the time when i'm using the answer process i'm thinking to myself okay so i've got an opportunity to attack the king but is it improving my position on the board can they then take another piece off the board or are they tripling up on a particular area and then they're going to get a checkmate on me just because i put that one single check on rooks don't have any place in the center of the board in our mantra so we've got to now look at why that is weak he can't come here because our pawn is protecting so i'm not too sure why that was done so we can still take the pawn here but pawn hunting for pawn hunting's sake does it improve my position on the board really don't really see a problem with it i'm really interested in moving the knight but if i move the knight his rook is on our bishop so is that what they're potentially looking at 
do I then need to really sort of bring my bishop here? I think bringing the bishop here because it has no support on it, there looks like there's some clever manoeuvres going on whereby they're looking to get the bishop. So I'm trying to look after my pieces as best possible. We've got two pieces protecting here, bishop, pawns protecting this pawn, and another rook in the centre of the board. We surely must be able to take advantage of this. Now our knight is free to manoeuvre, so it could move here attacking the queen. If we do that, it does give them space to, well, it doesn't really give them much space to do anything. So he's brought that rook down to protect the pawn. That's what he's done that for. So if we open up the space, attacking the queen, now looking to get the rooks on the back, because the king is now a little bit home alone and blocked in by these two pawns. This rook in its own right, is it, to me it's a very bad position, but they may prove me wrong. Because if we get this rook here, it's obviously going to have to capture that rook's going to have to go back here. We've got a dark square bishop. It's not in the ideal position at the minute, but um, there's plans afoot. So position is key. So again, rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. And I think they've forgotten that their queen was under threat. two rooks on the centre of the board so we may as well come here it's probably going to come for this sort of manoeuvre like this but then it's a back rank checkmate really 